Hi there, welcome to another Cornelium tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to simulate a crowd like this. Yes, this is what I'm going to show you how to create using Blender 2.6, uh, I think 2. <clears throat> so let's start. Basically, what you're going to need is an image like this. Yep, an image with a transparent background. As you can see, the background is transparent in this image. So how do you achieve an image like this? Here's what I did. I shot it on a blue screen, yep, blue, blue background, and then had the blue keyed out using Blender. You can use any software you want. Or if you cannot do that in Blender, you can check Blender film tutorial here yeah, about green screen. Or you can do this. You can you can use GIMP. I'm using GIMP. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which version. Actually, you can. What you do is actually you click open as layers, you select the image you want to open as layer. Okay, where is that image? I just can find it. Um, uh, yes, yes, yes. Here it is. I'm going to open the image. Boom. <coughs> After, okay, you can do the scaling and all that stuff, but all I'm going to do is use the rubber rub the thing yeah until you get the transparent background you can increase this yeah i'm not going to go into the details but get the point actually i think too so after that uh now we open blender here's the file actually actually this is what i did uh, okay i'm going to start opening a new file okay after open a new file I delete the default cube I add a plane add mesh plane there you go plane uh, <coughs> I go to the UV maps after I got that UV maps um, yep I add a UV map as I just did there oh actually I'm going to add screencast keys so that you see what I'm pressing start display Okay, you see over there. <coughs> okay, now that the image, I mean the plane is there, I'm going to press control, back, left arrow, until I get to, yeah, there, UV editing. So I'm going to go in edit mode, I'm going to go image, open image, I'm going to open the image, which I've already, uh, I mean the transparent image okay where's the image there composition that that open image there you go my image i'm going to press uh press this set it to texture there have my image isn't that cool yes it is good <clears throat> now that i have my image what i'm going to do is the press control left arrow again until I get back to my previous to my default okay I'm also going to set this to texture viewpoint shading as you see it is already transparent but it isn't if you press render you get this and that's a shame so I'm going to add it a new material okay we're already getting there you see that the transparency has magically disappeared what I'm going to do is actually set transparency okay Z transparency and then go here to face textures click that and click this one face textures alpha and then set the transparency to zero yep that's what I did if you want to see this in the viewport you can actually do this uh, um, yeah, here <laughs> Actually, it's just showing nothing, no difference. What a shame, anyway. That's what I did. I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees in the x axis. R x 90. Okay, actually, I need it to face on this side, so I'm going to press negative. There, I have it. Let me see if my camera is looking at this. It's not, so I'm going to press Ctrl Alt 0. Oops, no. 
control out zero <laughs> very funny yep so there you have it doesn't have any light so i'm going to use just basic lighting i'm going to use ambient occlusion take it down to like 0 0.3 then press f12 close huh very close but not close enough so uh, that's the basic point thingy now that um you get the point uh, you can remove the transparency uh, the way you want it now for the part where you get multiple people you add another plane shift air plane there you have it plane i'm going to scale it it and then add particles, new particles, set them to hair. Boom, we have our hair here. So we're going to add, um, um, okay, here in the render, we set it to object, then select the object which is the plane. So we already have our people here. Can you see my people? As you can see, the people are upside down, so I'm going to click here rotation see them okay I wonder if on the right side I'm going to add a light shift A lamp add a lamp uh, sun oh, oh, where's the sun there I still see nothing. This is weird. Okay, let me see if I can see it in the render. No, I don't. I mean, let me check that. Well, you can see that it's sideways. Anyway, I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to take you. Apply rotation and scale. Help on the right side. Well, at least you get the point. Not perfect, but you get the point. So I have my image there. I'm going to post the record and check a couple of things. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, Blender just crashed, so I have to open it again. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so I'll open the file that I actually used before. Okay, this is what I did. When you add the particles, you select the, the object. You select the objects as the... I mean, then the particles. I mean, here. My objects, this one. Yeah, that's what you do. Click rotation, like it or not, but... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Brenda. <laughs> Blender just crashed. Okay, so <coughs> if you render this, actually, I used another image. The first one uh, wasn't good. Okay, so it's going to take a lot, time, a lot of time to render this. Now we see that it's working. So, what if you want to use multiple, I mean, a car with many people, you can take like 100 photos, do the same process. When you do the same process to all those hundred photos, you, <coughs> you when they're already in Blender's planes, you press Ctrl G, you add them to group. I just press Ctrl G. I forgot to turn on screencast keys. Uh, 
Okay, so when you add them to a group, you take uh, this object, the plane, you set it to group here, you select the group, ah, you select the group, please don't put me shame. Okay, so you select the group, there you have it. But for multiple people, I just use the same thing, I just did the same process. You can add uh, those people you want to the same thing. Okay, that's all. <laughs> See you next time.